I'm tired of trying to navigate on my cell phone and listen to podcasts with a bunch of wire plugged into the old head unit. So we're upgrading to this Android 7.1 GPS Navi system from Seacane. Wandering around on the internet looking for a solution to get rid of this frankly outdated old head unit on here. I have to plug everything into it to listen to a podcast. I got to navigate on my cell phone. It's just, it feels very 2008, which this truck is. So I wanted to come into the future with like a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, Navi system. This even has like an Android system on it so it can run apps. It, it does everything. You can even get an OPD2 dongle that turns it into a gauge pod if you want it to. Anyway, searching around we found this one from Cycane, Cicane, I don't know how, how to pronounce it. It's S-E-I-C-A-N-E dot com. Um, and it seemed to have all the features I could possibly ever hope for. The price was right. It's on sale on their website right now for $338, which is crazy cheap considering this just literally slams right into the dash. It's got the same contour and everything as our Tundra. So it's designed specifically for 07 to 13 Tundras and the Sequoias from that same generation. Comes with like wiring harnesses that are all nicely labeled. Uh, RCA cables are all labeled up. Comes with a uh, antenna for the GPS. It's got everything we need just to pop it in here, Pete. So it should be a simple install. It's time for Peter to find out. Well, it looks like I'm gonna need two tools. And this one is a panel popper and a 10 mil wrench, which I hope is the last one I need to, to remove the actual uh, head unit. What you need to do is start prying to, to pop. I, I know this wouldn't seem like the first panel you wanna take off, but we need, do need to take this side, just pop it off a little bit because this knob here is a part of the entire uh, HVAC unit down here, which also has to come off. There oh yeah, go. beauty. Pops out, nice. All right, oh, oh, wow. and the whole vent's falling out. <laughs> All right. That's okay. So we'll leave that as is. I think the next thing we need to do is pop this lower panel out here. Oh, there we go. Right on. And now we'll try to get this off here. I don't know if I need to use the panel popper. It might be all right. Let's see. There we go. Oh. There we go, all right. So oh, let me yeah. just quickly show you here. Sometimes this may happen. See there's these yellow little clips that hold everything in place. This one stayed on. And all you gotta do is just squeeze it together and pull it off and pop it back on because we wanna make sure that stays with its original unit here. Man, this is like 30 seconds here <laughs> and uh, it's pretty we've amazing. almost got the radio out. Yeah. I am impressed. Tundra's built like Lego. Yeah. There's two 10 mil screws here, yeah. and then there's actually two more, which are hidden behind oh, here that you need to access. Okay. But there's a total of four screws. And now, I think we just smash get the with... panel popper again. All right. I was gonna say smash it with a hammer. No, see, the panel popper does, does a good help job, quite yeah. a bit. Even though it kind of feels like I'm uh, destroying it, but I yeah. guess that's what it's for. It's sacrificial rather than the car, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so here we have our radio antenna and I'm assuming power and speaker wires. So I'll pop all these guys out here. Would you look at that? Out. Out with the old and in with the new. Now, the beauty is we have everything we need here for a quick install because uh, Seacane provides all the plugs and adapters. So would you look at that? I'm just gonna go line these up here. Plug that one in. Assuming that guy goes to this guy, that goes to there. And. Bam. Holy crap. Too easy. We are done. We're so gonna plug the radio in or yeah, the that's antenna what, that's, that's Plug the radio in here, yeah. And uh, as you can see, radio plug right here. Yeah, nicely labeled. Plug that in. Let's just set this aside here for a second. I think we're gonna have to take these guys off of. Oh yeah. 
the old unit here. And here we go. Let's turn this thing on. Come on, baby, power up. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Man. And everything is working. It already knows the time. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we, when we connected it to your phone, everything seems to, uh, to work out. And it's all touchscreen, which is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, there's a ton of apps, more apps than we know what to do with. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we want to listen to Bluetooth, Dave's got the Joe Rogan experience here going. And yeah, so with that working, I mean, we'll get into all this other stuff in a second, but um, we need to try to install, A, we're gonna install the GPS unit. And the other thing we wanna do, which is a little bit more advantageous, is this is the screen for our backup camera. Yeah, and it's tiny. It's tiny. Yeah. So what we wanna do is take the, the feed from here, run it all the way around down, and plug it into our connection here that the CK unit comes it with, which is cam in. This is our GPS antenna, and we are gonna mount it right down here on the glass. And before I go sticking this permanently on, I wanna make sure the routing and everything works. So I'm just gonna pull up a little bit of the, the rubber cowling here, pop it back in place. That'll give us the opportunity now to Take our wire, feed it underneath here, and around. Okay, so as you can see, that's a pretty nice stealth install. It's not gonna get in the way of anything. Now comes the fun part, which usually means drilling a hole in the firewall or finding a grommet to pass this wire through. But thankfully, someone's already done that for us on the Tundra. And it's quite a gaping hole, so we're gonna have no problem putting uh, this wire through there. So I'm just gonna feed it like that and then go grab it inside the cabin. I just reached underneath the pedal box there, pulled the wire through, and now I've snaked it up into this area here. Now we're at the back where we need to be, so we'll hook this up and let's move on to our backup camera. Well, as you can see, we removed the upper panel where our backup camera lives. And slight problem, there's no RCA plug. So that's an issue, it's just a bunch of wires, but not a huge problem. So what we did is we went out and purchased an RCA, cut it off, and uh, found that these wires run all the way around here to these two plugs on the A-pillar. And we found the camera wires spliced into those. We also needed a reverse power wire. So what that does is that wires into the reverse wire on the back side of the camera or on the back side of the, the nav unit here. Uh, it is right here. So you need to wire this in so when the uh, we put the car into reverse, it sends a signal to it and turns the uh, backup camera on so it displays on the nav unit. So there was three wires going from here um, I'll put in the description which wires we hooked up in, into but essentially the green wire is the reverse uh, wire the white with black stripe is the camera ground negative and the red wire here Wiring job was simple, black to the outside and red to my signal wire. I'm gonna hook this into the camera in and I already wired up the reverse wire. So let's see if this all paid off. I'm gonna put the car into reverse here. Yes, and we've got a signal, fantastic. Put it into park and it goes back. I think that's a win, DP. Yeah, man. So we can finally get this back and, and installed. We've got the GPS hooked up. We've got the reverse camera. So we're ready to go. I went to put this in and well, there is an extra step. You gotta transfer these brackets, these mounting brackets off the stock radio onto this one. And then we'll be able to put it back together. Well, we're fired up here and everything appears to be working. I'll put it in reverse. You can see the reverse camera is working beautifully and much larger, colorful display, which yeah, will make that's a beauty. Looking up to the trailer way back there, way Look easier. That. 
and to put it back in park we go back to our main screen and now there's just a ton of stuff here for me to learn about and it's like having another it's a tablet device that's isn't right it? it's I an android it so i learn about android stuff. android operating system you can uh go to my app section here and i'll play around with all this stuff and figure it out I've, al I've already figured out how to play my ipods or my ipods my my podcasts so uh, that's that's key and you know i can even get my gmail on here yeah that's a little it's much a little, but a little sketchy i would say but we're good with the maps, we and maps. I think we're good with the podcast and the Bluetooth connection. I can the play phone works. Videos for my kids when they're yeah. chilling in the front seat. Anyway, everything works. I'm excited. Let's. Uh, and we should mention the uh, USB oh, yeah, little right. connection that. So this uh, mocked up here. Yeah, that unit comes with a USB cable that connects to the back, and we decided to put it in this unused button here. So we just dremeled out a, a spot to put it in, glued it in on the back side, and we got charging through the head unit That's now right. too. So. So if you're looking for one of these units, where do we send them, DP? I guess just go to their website. So S-E-I-C-A-N-E, Psychane.com. Yeah, www. Uh, it fits perfectly in the hole. Everything works as it should. So it seems like a win to me, it's especially a for- a bargain in my opinion. $338. It's crazy cheap for so much technology. That so. integrates and plugs in. Seamlessly. I mean, the harness just plugged in. If it wasn't for wanting to wire the backup camera in, this would have been a five minute install. So it's incredibly easy to do. It's got everything we want. Time for me to go pick up the kids at daycare, Peter. Let's get out of here. I don't want to lose that bolt there. Mm -hmm. Got it. Nope. Had it. Lost it. Got it. Oh, I heard it fall. There it is. All right. Good save. Good save. 